So today, this video will be for anyone who is using Craft CMS to create or to develop their website. Craft CMS is a content management system, much like WordPress, Joomla, and the others. So basically, if you are using CMS, a Craft CMS, or if you are even a developer of this platform, you may want to watch this video at the end. We're going to talk about the recent vulnerability that uh, actually hit Craft CMS to avoid the implications of this vulnerability. Make sure to regularly update your Craft CMS. Okay, so that is an intro to Craft CMS. Now, what we're going to do? We're going to switch to my virtual machine, and from here we're going to first take a look at the two CVEs that affected, or it's the same CV, but we're going to take a look at the proof of concept. So it is. Uh, let's see here. It is actually CVE 2023, and this is the ID of the vulnerability that affected the Craft CMS. Now, basically, the proof of concept is based on Python, and there are two available proof of concepts on the web. That's the first one, and the other one is here. They're all basically the same. When you exploit, when you execute the proof of concept, it's supposed to render or to give you a direct shell on the system hosting the craft CMS. But the thing is, um, I prefer to go with this proof of concept. Okay, so basically here, it's much more clear. And at the same time, the methods and the attributes are used much more clearly than this one. Okay, so if you read the description, CVE is a uh, CVE 2023 is a security vulnerability discovered in Craft CMS, popular content management system. Craft CMS versions affected by this vulnerability allow attackers to execute arbitrary code remotely, potentially compromising the security and integrity of the app. Now, there is another way to exploit uh, the vulnerable version of Craft CMS is by using Metasploit. Thing is, <clears throat> you have to add the exploit yourself manually to Metasploit. I'm, I'm going to show you how you are going to do this. Let's first start with the proof of concept, the manual one. So I'm going to choose this version. Okay. And let's see here. So after we download it, I'm going to split the contents of the working directory. And it is as simple as uh exploiting or executing this command so craft cms py and we're going to put the link to the website in question permission denied let's try with okay if you get this that the web server is not exploitable, you might need to um, use the DNS name. So in my case, I have the IP address. Now, it's not um, actually possible now to convert this into a DNS name. So basically, if you get this error, it means instead of the IP, you're going to have to use the DNS name. An example would be example.com. Once you use the DNS name, it should work. So after we execute this, as you can see, we got the shell ID. I'm the dub dub data. And here is the files hosted on the platform or the CMS. You can go through the files, but this is the shell that has been uploaded by the proof of concept code. And these are the configurations. So we effectively got shell on the system. Now the other way around, is using Metasploit. First, I promised you to show you how to add the exploit to Metasploit. So if you check out this page, Craft CMS Unauthenticated Remote Code Execution, RCE, and we can see here the source code. If you click on the source code, we are referred to the page that has the source code of the exploit. What you're going to do, you're going to download the exploit Okay, and then we're going to go back to my machine. What we're going to do, we're going to, so let's say 
we download this to desktop it was here and then what we're going to do I'm going to copy let me press clear copy craft uh, yeah I'm gonna copy this where to user share metasploit framework and then modules exploits okay so we stop here we need first to define what the where the exploit belongs so it is actually a Linux exploit we're gonna use Linux and HTTP how, how I how do I know that if you go here you can follow this path so it needs to be stored under the HTTP so if you follow this path correctly you can end up copying the exploit to the right place so we copy the exploit here we execute this and then if I want to take a look or verify that the exploit has been copied successfully I can list the contents of this directory okay and then I use grep craft so indeed the exploit now has been copied to the correct directory the next thing you want to do you want to launch MSF console and once you launch MSF console you can use the search and you can use any um, you know keyword craft CMS once you do that you will see that it has been added successfully to Metasploit the next thing you want to do is to specify the parameters so in my case here let's go over the options I have specified so we use we set the exploit name and we see the required options we have the R hosts the R hosts parameter represents the IP address or the DNS name of your target R port it depends if your CMS is installed using um, it comes with SSL certificate you may leave this option as is if the CMS of your web page is actually installed without CMS without uh, the SSL you may need to set this as 80 to port 80 again this option is for the SSL certificate if you have an SSL certificate leave this option as is if you don't have set this option to false target URL we leave this as is if your CMS is hosted on the main directory of your website or the root and lastly we select the R the L host and L port L port these represent your uh, local parameters IP address and port as you can see I set the R host to the IP address of the target R port I set this to 80 I change it to 80 because the instance of the craft CMS I have installed doesn't have SSL so we use the regular HTTP port and we set SSL to false L host is my IP address and we exploit after several attempts you can see that I got interpreter shell and then I can execute all sorts of commands and do all kinds of things on the machine so that's how we exploit the vulnerability using Metasploit and that's how we do it manually. Okay, so what to do? You need to make sure that you have your recent version of uh, Craft CMS installed and make sure you update your content management system regularly. So that was it guys for today. I hope you enjoyed this and I'm gonna see you later.